Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about the Dream Machine Special Edition. Um, what makes it Special Edition is the fact that it actually has a internal SSD as well as the actual um, ports on it are PoE, which is something that a lot of us have been wanting because the original Dream Machine had the same ports but no power over Ethernet, which meant you had to buy another switch or poe of some sort to power your devices so now this is all in one which would be good because i plan to use it with possibly upgrading later on to an nvr system as well or just using it with three cameras and then connecting those to this i'm definitely going to be connecting my unify wi-fi 6 mesh coke can looking uh devices so this is a good start for me all right so let's talk a little bit about this this is the Dream Machine Special Editions, as I mentioned. It is an enterprise grade Unify OS console capable of helping home and business owners alike to scale, manage their network. In other words, I can see what's going on. What's the good things about this? It has high speed dual wide connectivity up to 10 gig SFP plus 2.5 gigs RJ45 ports, a gigabit power over ethernet switch, a network video recorder, which is this part right here. It is the actual NVR. If you decide to put up to a 16 gig hard drive, some people put an eight. I've seen it on the uh, internet, people put in 16. But the good thing about this, it is also comes with 128 gigs of internal storage, okay? This is actually ran by the Unify OS, which is part of the reason I'm getting this, right? Um, it's just software that you can scale, software that you can use here at home, okay? So let's go ahead and flip this over to see what's on the other side of it. We can look at a couple of different things. All right, here we go. There you go right there. It says Unify Dream Machine Special Edition, all-in-one router and security gateway. So a couple of different things that you'll have to look at is first is comes, you can either run this on your computer or you can actually use your phone. I'm gonna set it up with the phone. Um, here's a couple of the quick specs on how to set it up. Quick Bluetooth power via Unify network web application on the mobile apps. I'll be pulling that from my iOS app. So one of the things I like about this and why I chose this over the UDR, the Dream Router, is because this actually has 1.7 gigahertz quad, quad, quad processor. Um, the NVR actually went down in processor compared to the UDM, which it's replacing. So I figured I'd invest now and then not worry about it later. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to go with this particular uh, um, system is the 1.7 gigahertz quad processor, the dual WAN, the 10 gig SFP, which is going to be good if I decide to get a Synology to store things on there, I can connect it through there, or I can use the uh, SFPs to connect to another switch later on if I decide to upgrade, okay? Another thing is it comes with eight, right here, eight gigabit RJ45, including six of those eight being 802.3 AF POE and two 802.3 POE LAN ports, okay? One gigabit, 10 gigabit SFP or LAN port, and then a 1.3 inch LCM color touchscreen um, to look at a glance, which I mean, it's a little gimmicky, but hey, anything that kind of gives me the idea that I'm on the Starship Enterprise, I'll take any day. All right, so next things we'll talk about is custom customizable internet threat filtration, right? So that's one of the reasons I got this because I was thinking about the UDM and I was thinking about the Dream Router. And in both cases, if I looked at it closely, anytime I enable the IPS or anything like that, any kind of intrusion, I either get a limited amount of selection for the Dream Router. I think it's like 13 out of the original 20 something that come with the uh, Dream Machine SE uh, special edition here that I have, or the NVR, uh, I mean, not NVR, but the, the Dream Machine and the UDM, the original one. If you enable those, your actual throughput goes down. But with this, you have enough of a uh, 1.7 gigahertz quad processor that should be able to handle everything seamlessly and without any issues, okay? So let's go ahead and look at a couple things before we take it out of the box. We'll scoot this on up a little bit more. Here you see the actual front of it, Dream Machine Special Edition. You have your eight ports here. You have your LAN and some SFPs. These are the two uh, mounting 
uh, ears or what they call the rack mounting kit. Um, over here is all the screws that you'll need. These are the screws in case you decide to use a SSD. Um, I'm more than likely gonna use a regular uh, hard drive spinning one because they're just a lot easier to read and write to. Um, granted, the SSD is um, faster, but over time they deteriorate faster too. So I, I, I want that scalability with knowing that it will be there for a while. Of course, what comes in it is the power cord, some rubber feet, which I'll probably use until I decide to get the switch and some other devices. Otherwise, I'll just put it on my uh, on my bookshelf for now in my office. Um, next thing is the uh, the front view. Here's the front view. You have your touch screen right here. You have your bay here, which is a 3.5 inch drive bay for, for the NVR, which is another word for protect in Unify language. Um, that means your camera, so it will record your uh, video. It's something I'm looking forward to. I'm going to move away from the Nest Cam that I currently have and try to see if I can uh, do everything in-house and see how that works out for me. Um, and then we have our 6802, if you notice right there, AFPOE LAN ports. We also have two 802.3 PoE Plus LAN ports, and then we have the 2.5 gigabit RJ45 WAN ports. You have a reset button, and then again, I skipped these two, but you have two SFP, which I'll probably use to link a switch to this so that they communicate at a faster link. You could put them over here, but I'm actually gonna connect them via SFP. I'll just have to figure out whether I wanna use fiber or copper. Um, I'll look at that at a later time. So let's go ahead and unbox this. One of the things I do like about this, and you can tell um, it's Apple-esque, right, is the quick little peel part right here. So let's go ahead and take that. There we go. All right, got that. So let me pop this off the screen for a minute and go ahead and take out everything. First thing we have is this box here. All right. Next, we're going to take out the Dream Machine. I think it comes out at one thing. All right, put the box to the side. Here's the actual item. We'll put it here. Comes very well packed in the styrofoam. All right, so let's see first what's inside of this box. All right, we're going to see what's inside of this box first. All right, looks like we have a how to set it up. It says here, scan here to get started. We'll do that here in a minute. First thing we'll look at is the power cord. The difference between this one and the old uh, S, uh, UDM Pro and the SC is that this one has some kind of fabric binding, a lot more durable. Um, when you connect this, if you notice right here, this right here, this little slot right here, it's like a security mechanism. When you put it on the back of the actual UDM, you slide it over. It's hard to disconnect this because you don't want this disconnected for sure. The next piece we have here is the actual uh, kit for racking this into a, a, a network rack server and we have our peg legs right here as well as the screws for the uh, UDRS NVR if you want to use this as a recorder too. Um, this is capable of running all the applications right access protect so forth and so on so we'll look at that here in a minute. Next we have let's see what we have here we have the actual ears these are the ears to, that you use to connect to if you decide to put this in an actual server rack. And that is all the items that we have in here. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. Put that here and go ahead and take this out of the actual casing. Comes very well protected. All right, take that side off. We'll take this side off too. There we go, a little heavy. That's okay, we don't mind that. All right, so here we go. We'll switch this around and put it right here so that you can get a good view of it. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and take this off. I like this uh, paper right here, it comes right off. All right, there we go. So let's pull this out. It's a little bit heavy, but I don't mind that. That just means it's gonna work out great for me. All right, here we go. There is the actual UDM Pro SE Special Edition. Let's go ahead and uh, let you see all the, turn this around so that we can actually see this in the correct orientation. All right, there it is right there. We have our focus in right there on the LAN ports. You see the little symbols where it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and of course a few lightning bolts. Um, here's the LAN, SFP, the hard drive, 
and then the touch screen. Let's flip this around, see what we have here. Just where the actual ears go. All right. This is where you can connect the redundancy power thing that you unify cells. Here's where the power goes. You just take this little cap off right here, like so. There it is. There's a little cap for you to look at. Not bad. There it is. And then here's that little switch I was talking about right here that you can lock it in or lock it out. Pop it in and pop it in and it locks in place. Okay. All right, and we'll go ahead and put this back in there. We'll take a look at it later. Get it started. There it is right there. I guess what I should do too is also show you the actual, this part right here, it says pull. There we go. Comes right on out. There you go. Gives you a little bit of few instructions back here so you can check those out. Give it time to focus for me. So this is if you use a regular 3.5 drive and this is if you use a 2.5 drive. It just depends on which one you use, which screws you use. And then to put it back in, you just slide it in and then lock it down like that. Clicks into place. Alrighty, everybody, I think that's gonna be it. We'll look at this and see how it works. Um, like I said, here are the other items that came with it. Just to put it here for you. Comes in a little foam, cables, ears, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, a little bit something, but it's what I what I could do for you. Um, consider commenting, giving me a thumbs up. And subscribing. Until the next one, I'll talk to everybody on the next one. Have a great one. Bye-bye.